In 1981, Ronald Reagan asked me to fill a vacancy on the court when Justice Potter Stewart retired. That was when this opened up, and uh, President Reagan had decided when he was campaigning for the presidency that maybe he'd like to try to put a woman on the court. Well, somehow they plucked my name out of the hat, <laughs> and I had a call. I was in my office as a an appellate judge in Arizona and the phone rang and it was the White House calling and it was Ronald Reagan on the phone. Sandra? Yes, Mr. President. I'd like to announce your nomination tomorrow for the U.S. Supreme Court. Is that all right with you? <laughs> I mean, quote, unquote. <laughs> well, yes, Mr. President. But then I had to go home and ask John O'Connor if that was okay. <laughs> But he thought that was all right, too. But it certainly <laughs> changed his life. And it was a wonderful experience to be on the court. We are very lucky in this country to have a court like the Supreme Court of the United States. I've been there, and I've seen it, under different leaders and different conditions. And it truly is special. I think we're very fortunate indeed. So I guess we can keep going a while longer. <laughs> it looks all right to me.